So should you split the bill on a first date with a woman? Hell no. Like, why are you even doing that? It makes no sense. And the girl will find it very, very, very unattractive of you. And after that day, I promise you, she will not speak your call again or reply to your text. Because most girls will find that very unattractive. Even the so-called feminists who are demanding for equal rights and equal responsibilities, they will find it very unattractive. See, forget about all this nonsense these feminists say. Forget about the feminists even. Most women want to be pampered. Most women want to be treated like babies. Because every woman who is feminine wants to submit to a man and wants to be treated like a little child. Women don't look for boyfriends. Women don't look for husbands. What women are basically looking for is a father in the form of a husband and a boyfriend. That's basically it. The first man most women come in contact with is their father. And their father leaves an impression on them which is a, a father who is caring, a father who treats them like, their, like his little babies, a father who is always there for them. And these women grow up with this mentality and this uh, impression they've gotten from their father. Now, when they grow up, they now look for men who have the same characteristics which they saw in their father, which is a man who can care for them, a man who can treat them like a baby, a man who can take care of them. That's basically it. Most women want to be treated like little kids. That's basically it. That's basically it. Now, if you go out on a date with a woman and you're splitting the bills, you are telling her that, see, you are my equal. Which, any man who does that doesn't even understand the dynamics of male and female relationships. Because, see, forget all these modern useless things people come to say these days about relationships that men and women are equals in a relationship or in a marriage. That is stupidity. That is very, very absurd. See, we have to understand nature. Nature did not make a man and a woman equal, especially in a relationship or marriage. It's not possible. There cannot be two captains in a ship. It's not possible. So how come there will be two equals in a marriage or two equals in a relationship? There has to be a head and there has to be a tail. In, 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 in life as a whole, go to every place or everything you can find in this life. There is never two kings in a place. There is never two emperors in a kingdom. There are never two, uh, uh, there are never two presidents in a country. There is always a hierarchy, a hierarchy in everything, in everything and anything on this earth. There is always a hierarchy. So there is no way you can say that a man and, and a woman should be equal in a marriage or relationship. Or relationship doesn't make any sense. The man has to be in charge and the woman has to be the follower. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. So forget all these modern uh ideas which are basically disastrous go to any marriage where a man and a woman are practicing equality it never it never works out because at some point the man will get tired of the woman because by nature of man the man is designed to be in charge especially in something as sensitive as marriage or relationship, or relationship. and the woman is designed by nature to be a follower in something as sensitive as marriages and, and relationships. So anybody who tries to force an artificial ideology into something like marriage is never going to work. One partner must get out of the whole thing. One partner must get out of it because that is not how, how a man and a woman is, is designed or are designed to be. There has to be a hierarchy. Even at the, at the dawn of human beings, Eve was subordinate to Adam. And now, 6,000 years later, these feminists are bringing their useless ideas. These, these uh, uh, confused 
feminists because there are some feminists who know what they are fighting for and there are some feminists who are basically confused who see feminism as a fight against patriarchy as a fight against men forgetting that these same women have been the greatest beneficiaries of patriarchy when for example now there is a war going on in ukraine between ukraine and russia who are the ones running away from the country who are the who are the ones the governments are evacuating from the country it's not women and children why the men are staying back fighting the russians why the men are staying back dying like chickens why the men are staying back fighting for their countries so who is basically the beneficiary of patriarchy go check out history all the wars which has been fought since the dawn of humankind the greatest and the highest victims have been men. If 100 men died in a war, maybe probably two women died. Which means men. See, patriarchy. See, the, the, the definition of patriarchy is men sacrificing their comfort for their women. It's a man's world, but the greatest beneficiaries of this world has been women. All the things you see today in today's world, we are built by men. But we are built every single thing you see today in today's world on this earth. Is it the curtain that is behind me? Is it this chair? Is it this food I'm using? All we are built by men. And who are the people who are enjoying it the most today? Women. So why would a woman or a confused feminist who is deranged, who is delusional, wake up one morning and say that, oh, men are the problems of women? Men are the reasons why many women are unhappy. Men are the ones who are physically abusing women. Men are the ones who are raping women. Men are the ones who are causing the problems, the entirety of problems of women. Forgetting that these are few percentages of men. These are few percentages of men. You can't judge a whole gender with what few men do. How many men physically abuse women? Few of them. How many women, how many men prevents women from climbing the social ladders in organizations? Or how many men tell women that I must sleep with you before I give you a job? Very few men. You can't generalize something that a, a few men do. No, it's not right. It's not right. So, the greatest beneficiaries of patriarchy has been women. So, I find it very uncomfortable and I find it very, very, very... Uh, Stupid. That's the word to use. Stupid. For a woman to wake up one morning and see that men are the biggest problems of women. There are actually women who have that mentality. Women who basically hate men. And if you check it very well, if you observe those women, you will discover that most of them came from abusive homes. Where their father neglected the mother, where, the, where their father physically abused the mom, uh, abused their moms, and also abused them. Fiscally. Now, when you grow up, you can't generalize, generalize what your father was doing to your mom and, and say that every man does the same. That is stupidity. That is you having a myopic mindset. That is you not being smart at all. Because someone who is smart won't use something that few men are doing to say that every man is doing this. There are, in fact, men basically built this world for the sake of their daughters and for their wives. If it's only men that God created, men are comfortable walking around naked, fighting with lions, eating fruits, sleeping in the bushes. Men are comfortable with all those things. Men, when you compare men and women, men are closer to their primal nature compared to women women are more artificial women are more superficial men are basically natural that's why when you look at men and women men are natural men don't do makeup men don't fix eyelashes men don't put artificial things on their bodies it's always the women and check it out most of those things women fix on their bodies it was still invented by men so what are women saying men basically built this world for women Okay, this fan that is uh, rotating on the ceiling. 
probably a man saw that uh, the weather was too hot for his child, for his daughter, or for his wife. I was like, okay, I have to invent something that can bring in cold, that can make everywhere to be cold. He started working because of his daughter or because of his wife and invented the fan. That is how these innovations and inventions came around. Because men, we are seeking for comfort, not for themselves, but for their children and for their women. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Left to men, men, this world would have still been ages, like this world would have not been developed to the point it is now, because men are comfortable with their, their primary nature. Men are comfortable living on top of hills, eating fruits, laughing, joking. Joking. It's only because of the women and their children, children that they started making efforts to make this world better for, for these children and for their wives and for their women. Then a woman will wake up one morning and say that it's patriarchy, that men are the ones causing the problems of women. That is the way, in fact, whoever says that, whichever, a woman who says that is deranged. Check her very well. She's probably deranged. Because why would you wake up one morning and say such a thing? Men have, in fact, men don't actually get enough credit from women for all the efforts they have made to make this world a better place. Men don't get such uh, credits from women. That's why a woman who even the clothes she's wearing was, the idea came from a man. We woke up and said that men are the problems of women. Women are being, uh, uh, women are, are just, uh, are not on the same level with men because men are the ones trying to suppress women. Why would you even say that? How can you be on the same level with men? Men tend to be smarter than women. Men tend to be more competent than women. Men tend to work harder than women. Men tend to go the extra mile which many women can't even contemplate going to. And you want to say that men and women should be on. And you want to say that women should be on the same level as women. And in terms of finances, in terms of, uh, of uh, uh, what they call it, in terms of social standing, in terms of status, in terms of achievements, Haba Haba now is not possible. Men are ready to go the extra mile, which many women can't even contemplate going. Bring out the most competent man in this world and bring out the most competent woman in this world. And you discover that the competent man is by far more competent than the most competent woman. It's as simple as that. The extent many men are ready to go to achieve success, many women won't even contemplate going to such extent. It will be too stressful and too unimaginably hard and difficult for them. So, so they won't even contemplate trying such a thing. So patriarchy is the best thing that happened to women. And any woman who you see fighting patriarchy is extremely sadistic, is extremely unhappy, and is extremely and highly confused. It's as simple as that. Nobody can deny such facts. It's a fact, and it's as simple as that. So that's basically it on today's video. See you guys in the next video.